also, when you look at companies that are investing in their employee health and wellness programs, they tend to outperform the S&P 500 by about 5%. That's a hard feat to accomplish. Uh, the employees tend to be more engaged, they're more productive. So when we're talking about productivity measures, looking at absenteeism and presenteeism, they tend to be much lower, about 27% lower in, in employees that are actively engaged in their own health care. Um, when you're looking at just the bottom line for a company, companies are spending on average about $2,000 less if they offer a, a robust employee health and wellness program for their employees. Mm -hmm. Lastly, when we do take a look at the productivity measures, when you're looking at employees that have three or more chronic conditions, they tend to spend over 10 times more time away from work than a, their healthy co colleagues. So that makes a big difference in productivity for employers. So when an employer is investing in a health and wellness program, they're not just investing in their employees, which is their largest asset, they're also investing in their own bottom line and their own continued success. I think the best thing that a company can do to promote workplace wellness um, and health for their employees is to have engagement at all different levels of the company. So we're talking man top management, C-suite, executive level engagement, down to the hourly worker. When you get this level of engagement, you really start to build this culture of health for, for your employees, and that's what your ultimate aim is. I think my favorite um, workplace wellness practice that I've observed is really when a program comes together. So I've, I've we've worked with many clients, and then you know they will initially look at a company like Johnson and Johnson and say, "Oh my gosh, they have a wellness program that's been in place for 30 something years, and they're so successful. They have so much to that uh, different programs that they offer to their employees, and they're so well integrated. How do we ever get there? And we we have to remind them that it, it's step by step by step. So. Getting that engagement from all, all the employees, is, I think, is key and is one of the first steps. And then once you have that, you can start engaging other folks within the organization, such as marketing. Um, you know, some of our programs, we really look at the built environment very well to try to encourage employees that when they go to a vending machine, that they're having healthy options. When they're going to a cafeteria, their healthier foods might be subsidized as compared to the non-healthy options. They may have wellness coaches on site that can help them to navigate their own health care um, and also um, get in touch with specialists and providers that can help them manage their chronic diseases better. So for me, the favorite part is when a program kind of comes together at the end, but each of the steps along the way in kind of guiding an employer on how to build a very successful program, have this tight integration, I think is also like a fun part of the journey.